back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun Verma with Telfair Specialty Pharmacy. Today we're going to talk about pregabalin. You probably know it by Lyrica. It's a great medication. Uh, it's relatively on the newer side of sort of these pain medications that have been coming out. Uh, very, very good. Very effective. It's for fibromyalgia or any sort of neuropathic pain. Ne neuropathic pain being anything with your nerves, anything related to your nerves. If you're in a really bad car accident, it hits your spine. Your spine is literally the housing for all of the electrical nerves of your body, right? So my nerves, uh, my electrical work to my fingers goes all the way into my spine. So if you hurt your spine, it affects your hands, your legs, pretty much anything. So this this really helps with all kinds of nerve pains. Uh, could be related to like you know diabetic nerve pain all the way to sort of injury nerve pain. But you you get it, you get it, right? And so how does it work? Um, it works via the voltage gated ch uh, calcium channels in your brain. I'm not gonna get into it, it's complicated. Essentially what it does is it has an effective method for what I call zonking you out. Uh, in terms of it, it essentially just cuts off the pathway in your brain so your brain doesn't feel pain. Uh, so it actually doesn't work on the area in which you have the injury or what's going on, it just cuts off the electrical signaling. Again, our body is a massive electrical system, right? So if you get hurt here, you're, you're you know, the side of injury will, will tell your brain like, hey, this hurts, this hurts, let's do something about it. Ow, 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 it's sending signals up. This medication cuts off that pathway temporarily and so, you know, it's still saying ow, but your body, your, your brain doesn't feel it. And then because of that, you don't feel pain, right? Um, kind of cool how that works, right, in your body. It's a, you, when, whenever you actually do get hurt somewhere uh, and, and you're not feeling the pain from that hurt necessarily, it's your brain telling you it hurts and causing that pain. So it's kind of interesting that, in, in, that, in that sense. Um, so yeah, it cuts off the, the, the electrical circuits to that area for a little while. Um, I forgot to mention that there are some off-label uses for this medication. Again, this, this can be used for a lot of different things. Off-label meaning that it's not FDA indicated, but in practice we've seen it helps for you know A, B, C, and D. And so those things are uh, like general anxiety disorder, um, hot flashes, and restless leg syndrome. So this medication helps with those as well. Again, it's not indicated for it, but a lot of physicians, depending on your physician, they are able to use it and it helps in these scenarios. So pretty cool stuff, right? Um, let's see here. You can generally start to see improvement in your first week of taking the medication, but you wanna take it for several weeks before you get the maximum effect of this medication. I'm not gonna talk about dosing just because there's so many strengths out there, there's so many dosing strategies out there, that really all depends on what you're taking it for, so I'm gonna just leave that for your doctor to talk about with you. Um, let's see, if you have renal issues, make sure your doctor knows because then this medication needs to get tweaked. Um, it de it's excreted in your breast milk, so anyone who's lactating needs to be aware of this and have a conversation with your doctor. And if you're going to be pregnant or are pregnant, you should have a conversation with your doctor about this medication anyway if you need to be on it. Um, here's a list of the common side effects. And for the most part, this is really well tolerated, not a lot of issues with it. Um, you know, people either stop it because they don't think it works, or really the number one cause is the cost. It's an expensive medication. It works really, really well, but you know, depending on people's insurances, again, I don't like to talk about the cost too much just because under one person's insurance, it could literally cost them nothing, and then under another person's insurance, it's you know a couple hundred dollars. So I don't like to talk about that, but yes, that cost tends to be the main reason why a lot of people don't take this medication, even though they're, it's prescribed to them. But it's a very effective medication. Those that have taken it will tell you it's, it's very good. Um, beyond that, if you have any more in-depth questions, please call your local pharmacist or your doctor for more details, or call us here at Telfair Specialty Pharmacy. We'd love to talk to you about it. And uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please leave comments down below on how to make these videos better. We're making these for you guys so that it helps. Um, we, we want to prevent the spread of like misinformation. We want to really tell you what you need to know uh, and not have you guys try to Google and, and figure it out from all the weird fake websites that are out there and stuff like that. I want to make sure you guys know uh, what you need to know about this medication. So we're always trying to make these videos better. Please help us make these videos better. Tell us what you want us to talk about in these videos, what would help you, and we'll do that. So thanks guys, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye-bye.